G'day everybody. Well, as you can see, I'm out on the road, traveling uh, to South Australia for, just for a day. Set off about two hours ago, and I have approximately two and a half hours of travel still to go. Traveling for work does afford you the opportunity to see some of the country that you might not otherwise see. So anything I see uh, ahead of me that might be uh, might be uh, worth a look, I'll uh, try to capture uh, for you guys on the camera. So we've made it to the accommodation here in sunny and lovely Mount Gambia. I'm staying at a place called the Presidential Motel. Got my card and uh, I'm going to have a quick look at the room. Here we go, this is what we got. It's bigger than I thought it would be. It's like an apartment almost. It's a... so it's got this whole front sort of room. I wasn't expecting it to have all this space. There we go, lights on. Bathroom, yep. Yep. And better. Cool. Pretty simple. We've got some work to do. So this is good. It's always good when there's a like a proper desk. I was thinking I'd be sitting over there at that table, but this is gonna be a good spot to do some work. Oh, they've got the a mini fridge. Not many hotels that are that I have stayed at recently have I seen um, a fridge with, with actually mini bar where you've actually got food and drink in there. But uh, I probably won't be availing myself of any of that. Just the the milk, which is free. It's pretty cool. Some coffee to be had in the morning. Assume we've got yep everything we need for coffee. That's it. So that's the room. I'm only here for the night. Um, it's already like 5:30 in the afternoon, so it's not a lot of time. Probably just run or run them back up the street shortly and grab something to eat. In the morning, I'll get an early start. Um, I've got, got some appointments tomorrow, but um, I've got an early start. I want to show you guys the uh, a few of the uh, really cool sights around here in Mount Gambia before work. Good morning, everyone. Day two of my trip, last day. It's about 6.30 in the morning. It's another nice day by the look of it out there. Sun's up. So um, we'll get out there and uh, show you these, these really nice lakes. So this is the lookout area where you can see the Blue Lake, which is just across the road. Uh, we're going to go up this lookout here behind me. You can see this rock, rock built uh, lookout, and there's a wall behind it. I was just reading on the um, plaque here that it was built in uh, 1919, so over 100 years ago, by a local working bee of 2,000 people. And here you can see the lake from here. You can see why it's called Blue Lake. It's got this beautiful blue colour to it. It's very deep volcanic lake. So there was a volcanic eruption here according to one of the other plaques that I read around uh, four to five thousand years ago, which has created this crater, which has then become this lake. There's the lake again. So we're getting up higher and higher. This, this is where we just were, the little lookout house. We'll keep going up top of this hill and we'll get the best view that we can. It's actually very steep and something of a workout. Hello. Are you okay, mate? What's wrong? What's wrong? Are you okay? Are you okay? Hey? What's wrong, mate? Hey? Are you hungry? I don't have any food. Hey? Why are you here by yourself? Where's your family? 
Where's your family? Huh? Where's your family? I can't tell you, you can't. This is very strange. Uh, and you, you aren't normally able to get anywhere near a magpie. Like he let me, he let me pat him. Some magpies up in that tree. I hope they're his family. I don't know. He might not feel well. And look at that. Just like that, I'm home. Well, just like that, five hours of driving got me home, and uh, safely and all good, no problem at all. Um, there was a couple of things I wanted to um, show you guys on the way home, but I don't know. I was just, I was, I it got, it was dinner time when I got home, so. I kind of thought I'd better push on. Um, maybe next time it's a couple of like um, falls, um, like rock, rock formations and falls and things things to see. And, but maybe next time. That's this trip over with. Home now. So I'm just uh, saying goodbye now uh, as far as my trip goes. G'day everybody. Welcome on to our grocery haul for the week. This is the week before Easter. So it's a big shop actually I think this week. Big shop. Big shop. While it's here with us, we're going to go through our grocery haul, starting with baby wipes. Now, it's a lot. Ten packets of baby wipes. There was a deal on points, rewards points. So, we stocked up. We're going to be needing baby wipes for quite some time. So, um, stocked up on those. So, yeah. So, stocking up on the baby wipes. Here we have a couple of uh, packets of crumpets. Two off. Half price. Half. Excellent. Half price. Also here we've got a uh, kids oh. <laughs> kids bubble bath here. <laughs> Moving into the fresh fruit area, we've got bananas here. Underneath we've got some um, pink lady apples. We've got two packets or two kilos of the pink lady apples, and we've got the uh, odd bunch pears and another odd bunch apples. A uh, bag of Odd Bunch potatoes, a four kilo bag of Odd Bunch potatoes, half a pumpkin, two avocados, a full celery. Got some more apples here. These are little mini apples, particularly good for the kids' lunches. Uh, two bags of the mini, two bags of the mini apples. Bag of white, white seedless grapes. Three kilo bag of oranges some plums. We have a bag of carrots along with a packet of crunchy uh, noodle slaw or slaw kit. Little uh, mini pouches of vanilla flavoured yogurt for the kids as well as strawberry flavoured yogurt. Vanilla being Elliot and Sebi's favourite and I think Violet likes the strawberry the best so we've got a combination of both there. Um, we used to get them all the time but they really went off them. They didn't have them anymore now they're back onto them. Yeah, which is really good because it's the, the uh, yogurt's really good for them. And it's a quick snack to grab. Yeah, lots of um, calcium and it's easy. So, yeah, it's really good. All right, we'll move over now into the frozen and uh, cold and meat section. We've got this pack of, uh, a multi-pack of Hungarian salami. We've got a uh, got plant-based sausages, obviously there for Ebony as our in-house resident vegetarian. Some chicken strips. Here, times two, so uh, two 500 grams, so a kilo of chicken strips. Got some crumbed tenders as well, chicken breast crumb tenders. And underneath them, we've got a dozen free range eggs. Underneath here is three barbecue meat lovers flavored family pizzas. Sitting on top is two packs of snack pack apple pies. For desserts and two packs of chop chip muesli bars there's eight counts so that would be 16 in two packs an easy meal here 30 part 30 piece party pack party pies and sausage rolls nutrigrain snack bars here two of times five so 10 10 pack in total nutrigrain snack bars the lcms which are uh, it's just a huge hit with all uh, all the littlies. They Same love as them. the yogurt though, they went off them for ages and now they're back on them. Yeah, especially these ones with the yogurt bottoms. I've, I've seen, they're the only ones they like. I've actually seen uh, Violet just bite the yogurt off the bottom <laughs> and not eat the rest of the split stick. Pure honey. 
I think Sebi's our biggest fan when it comes to pure, he loves honey on everything. The cereals were all half price this week. Awesome, so these cereals here, so we have uh, a Milo cereal box, we've got the plus, cranberries and blueberries added into it, and some Cheerios, which as Ray said, all half price. Uh, just before I forget, one, two, three, four, five times three kilo, uh, three liters of full cream milk. And here we've got the bread. I think there's three loaves of white sandwich bread for this week. We've still got some leftovers from last week as well, so we don't overdo it. Underneath the Parker's uh, six packs times two of the baked pretzels minis. Got the Sun Bites Grain Waves, two packs, uh, five packs, and they're the sour cream and uh, chai flavor which uh, seem to go well, everybody likes them. Uh, a big, extra large uh, garbage bags. We bought this new garbage bin the other day. It's a 60 litre bin. Our garbage bags uh, that we had weren't big enough, so we've got this next size up, which will help uh, take care of, of that and keeping all the rubbish in our new, new bin. Uh, we got the beef ravioli, as well as the ricotta and spinach pack of each I think that covers everything here this stuff here is extra because Caleb's taken to doing some meal prep every week so he asked me to buy a few extra things in the shop for him to do that so this week he got some taco seasoning chili con carne seasoning some white wraps a kilo of minced meat some mild salsa Two tins of red kidney beans, two tins of black beans, and some diced tomatoes. I'm not going to be able to say how much it was this week because we also bought a whole bunch of Easter stuff in the same shop, so I can't figure out how much just this portion was. I'm trying to reach Points Club at the moment, I think we have 32 days or 31 days. I think it's 36 days. days. And, and we're down to 26,000 points left to get. So yeah. a lot of this isn't what we'd get all the time, but we're really trying to get those points to get points club mm. to get the bonus, the benefits from that, like the Qantas voucher, the wine voucher, and the yeah. Qantas lounge passes in the next yeah. month. So it's a good way to go about it because we're not just throwing in money away here on trying to achieve something in the points. Yeah. We're getting stuff that we might not normally get, it, but, but it's stuff we will use. Like the nappy wipes. We got 500 points for that. Yeah. And we're going to use that. Absolutely. Yeah. You don't get those extra points on, on nappy wipes every week. You get that once in a blue moon. So, you know, it's, it's such a good opportunity to take advantage, especially if you're going to be needing something going forward, something non-perishable yeah. like that as well. Really good. You know, you can just take your time and use them as needed. But a lot of these things, like, we, we used to get these a lot, but we kind of stopped and now I just got them because of the high points value this week. So, and yeah. we also, also I'm still not feeling that great, so it's oh. um, trying to do some easy meals at the moment. I think you need to have a minimum of at least one contingency meal, even if you, like something like that, like the party pies and, and uh, sausage rolls, set aside. You might, they'll last for months in the, uh, in the freezer if you don't use them. But the minute if something is, you know, something's happened during the day, you're not feeling right, you don't feel like cooking, or you can't because something's happened, you've got a contingency, oh, we'll just throw them in the oven tonight. And then straight away you- spend 60 bucks on takeaway. <laughs> yes, yes, which is easy, easy, easy to do. Um, so you've got that there, just throw those in the oven and have those. Because the reality is, as humans, we're always going to come up against things we couldn't anticipate happening. Which... And you're away a lot now too, so it's good for me to have easier meals when Particularly, I'm on my own. Yeah, absolutely then, because it's really hard here at home to look after everything and then cook a meal on top of it. It's really hard. So that's why we do those sorts of things. But not to excess, just to have it. Have I think we've got a little bit more this week than we usually would. Like a little bit of quick and easy stuff this week more than we usually would. Yeah. But again, that's to do with the points. Yeah, exactly. We're so. running out of time. We are. And we're going to get like FOMO. <laughs> I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be, yeah, I do have FOMO about it yeah. because we're so close, but we're running out of time. I guess this is why the system's designed the way got, it is. We got Points Club on my account, so now we're just trying to get it on Points account. Yeah, so, and we're so close. Yes. <laughs> we 26,000 points left. 
it's just a month this or so This shop, together. including the Easter eggs, because they were all 10 times points this week, we got 5,000 Qantas points transferred over, didn't we, today? Today? Yeah, yeah. 5,000 That's huge. Yeah. yeah. That's, so that's it was fabulous. at 33,000. Yes. So it's going along nicely. We hope to get there, but we'll keep you in the loop. We'll let you know if we if we miss it. Oh, it's going to be a tough one. We're not going to miss it. <laughs> All right, cool. So that is it for the week. Thanks for uh, being part of or being here for for the grocery haul. Um, we'll do another one next week. So until tomorrow, everyone.